Hi everybody, thank you for tuning in to another video. Today we are going to be looking at uh, the Samsung Freestyle projector and we're going to be testing out some gaming on this projector. So you may have seen my uh, review of this uh, Freestyle projector about a month or so ago um, where I just tested basic functionality of it. I did this unboxing, we had a look at the device, I did the setup and pointed it out the wall, turned it on and just messed around with the menu option then just showed you uh, what it's like when you first power it on going through the setup uh, and etc and what i've been meaning to do and haven't had a chance to do was to start testing it out with some uh, gaming for some gaming and uh, i've just taken the opportunity right now to try and uh, test it out so i thought while i'm testing it i'd record the session just so you can see what it's like firsthand i haven't tried this at all but this is what we're going to do this is not just going to be a basic gaming test but we're gonna see if we can achieve some sort of a mobile or portable big screen gaming experience using the Nintendo Switch and the Freestyle Projector. And this is what I'm gonna plan on doing. So if you've seen the video um, that I uploaded yesterday for the power bank, this here, this Aimuto X6G power bank is an absolute mammoth 138 watt power bank. It's got two power delivery three USB uh, C ports on it there one that gives a 100 watt output and the other one that gives a 60 watt output and what i did on the test uh, for this power bank when i unboxed it was i simultaneously powered the projector and uh, my tablet pc at the same time so what i'm thinking of trying to do is without using any power supplies power the freestyle and the nintendo switch in its dock using this power bank only and test out some game see if it works so what have I got here just before we start doing the test I've got a um, the uh, micro or mini whatever it is HDMI cable to the standard HDMI uh, cable there um, because that hasn't got a full-size HDMI port on it it's got one of these on it so this will go into the projector this side here will go into the dock um, I've got the switch controller here as well I've got the dock and I've got the Nintendo Switch. This one here is the OLED model. Um, I also did do a, an unboxing and review of this and I compared this to the original Nintendo Switch, the LCD version. So if you haven't seen that, um, get scrolling through the channel and you'll definitely find that old video. Um, so this is the OLED one and that's the one we're gonna be testing today. Now, this is pretty much fully charged so I don't expect it to have too much drain on here. Um, we've also got two USB-C cables, so I'm going to be using one to power the projector and I'm going to be using one to power the Nintendo Switch in the dock. Um, and then the remote control for the freestyle. That's everything we've got. So using everything here that you can see, no power adapters, I'm going to see if I can power up all these devices and uh, just test out some gaming. It's not going to be the biggest screen because I'm not that far from the wall here, but the main point here is just to see if we can actually effectively achieve some sort of a portable big screen gaming experience using a battery pack and this projector and the switch. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, set everything up. Uh, I'll be right back. Right, so as you can see here, I've got everything set up. I've got the projector connected to the power bank here. Um, power bank showing 46% uh, percent battery, hopefully it's going to be enough to last this video, if it isn't I'll be surprised. Nintendo Switch here in the dock and that is also receiving charge because I did see the charging light come on on the, on the actual Switch screen. Um, and the HDMI cable is plugged in from the dock to the projector as well. So uh, I've got the Joy-Cons ready and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, point the projector to the, um, well, point to the wall already, I'm gonna point the camera to the wall, I'm just gonna kill the lights, um, and then we're gonna go ahead and try and power everything up and see if it works. Right, so the lights are out. I'm just hitting the power button on the projector. I'm just gonna move the camera up as well, and try and get it into, oh, there you go. So projector's on, and the stand uh, has just given away there, so I'm just gonna try and pop it back up again. Hopefully it's gonna, the wire is uh, unfortunately pulling the stand down. So um, I haven't got anything to tighten the screw on the side at the moment. So if it drops down again, it's just gonna get a bit annoying. Um, but there we go. So 
as we're waiting for something on the HDMI input, I'm going to go ahead and turn on the switch with the Joy-Con. So there's a Joy-Con, so I'm just pressing the button there now. Right, the switch looks like it's on. And yes, there we go. That's working. So what are we seeing here? We are seeing Nintendo Switch and the projector being powered with just a power bank. And I've got a respectable size screen here, to be honest. And as you can see, that's a pretty decent quality right there, right? So I've adjusted the contrast a bit on the camera so you can see it as well. Getting sound out of the speaker. Um, and that seems to be quite a nice experience. I don't think you can argue with that. Not having to plug into any power whatsoever. So you could effectively carry this around where you want in the house, right? And uh, and have some fun. It's not noticing any lag or anything there either, to be honest. It's, uh, I'm not doing a good job of, uh, there we go. Uh, so, that's interesting. This seems to be working absolutely fine. Might just mess around with some Nintendo games as well to see how they work um, from the uh, Switch uh, online. Oops, you lazy. Right, there we go, got more coins. So this is great, so you can effectively carry this around, maybe you go into someone's house, you don't need to worry about taking, um, you, know, you probably won't want to take charge with you, you're going to be indoors somewhere. I very highly doubt I'd be using this outdoors anywhere to be honest, because where would I use it? I suppose you could use it in the garden at night if you've got a pop-up projector screen or a white wall to project it on, maybe, you know, sitting outside in the summer, barbecues, whatever, it's a dark and you can point it at a, walk, a wall. And you will get a decent picture out of it, to be honest, it will be fully usable, so yeah, maybe, maybe you could. I don't know how long the battery is going to last, it's gone down from 46% to 43% since I've started recording this video. Um, I, I, I'd expect you'll get a couple of hours worth of playtime out of it, tops. Um, but you know what, that's not so bad, let's just go into one of the levels here. That really is not bad for, you know, being able to use these devices on the go. Now, I will also be doing, uh, I don't want to do this level, I'll also be doing um, some more videos, hopefully in the very near future, testing out this, what I think is a very capable projector on, um, with the Xbox Series X and also the PlayStation 5. So, you know, if you, if you want to see those videos, please uh, leave a comment in the uh, section below. Let me know if you want to see them and I'll get recording them. Um, if there is a lot of interest, I'll definitely get to it sooner rather than later. Um, but this is just to give you an idea while I'm messing around with this stuff. I was actually not going to record the video and then I decided actually maybe I should record it. I didn't know if it was going to work or not. So this really is a complete first hand experiment. Um, it's the first time I've tested this or had the opportunity to test it. And I'm glad that I've been able to share the experience with yourselves. Um, and you know, hopefully you're finding these videos useful. Um, as you can see, I'm probably not the greatest player of all times here. Um, I do love a bit of Mario though. As you can see, that uh, seems to be working very, very well. That really is working very, very well. There's no lag at all. It's smooth. I'm not getting any sort of terrible refresh rate or anything out of it either. I'm getting a great refresh rate. I'm guessing it's working at 60 Hertz. Uh, maybe we can check somewhere in the Wii menu if it tells us what the display is running at. Let's have a quick look. It might tell us. I don't know if it does or not. I can't remember. TV output, so it's just showing resolution is automatic. It's probably going to be running at the full 1080p, which is the native resolution of the projector. Um, it's not telling me what refresh it's running at. Um, but you know what? Honestly, this uh, is really, really, really exciting to see that something like this actually works. And the projector stand has just given away again. I'm going to try and pop it up again. Uh, unfortunately, the wires that I've got, the HDMI wire is quite thick. Um, and the way I've got it tied up, it seems to be pushing the projector down, unfortunately. Otherwise, the stand doesn't really keep 
uh, flopping like that you can adjust the stand I can tighten it up a little bit but as I said I haven't got anything to tighten it with me this is more just to give you an idea of how this works and as you can see um, it does work it works a lot better than I had expected it to work um, I was actually not expecting it to work with the battery pack at all it was just a bit of fun um, so there you go portable gaming on a big screen is it possible yes it is it really is that possible if you're wondering whether it's possible I think I've answered your question yes it is um, maybe you wanted to buy the battery pack to power your projector now you can go ahead and do so peace of mind um, and on that note I think I'll end this video hopefully you found it useful if you have enjoyed the video please leave a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner if you haven't already done so and I look forward to seeing you in the next video thanks for watching take care and all the best